Okay, this is how to run DC Promo on your server 2012. Um, you need to go to Server Manager and then Local Server. Um, add Remove uh, Roles and Features Wizard. Um, hit Next. Role based feature or based installation. Um, choose a server. You've only got a single server here, so just choose the one you got. Hit Next. And then you're going to need to choose from the drop down list here Active Directory Domain Services. Notice I'm not start running and running DC Promo. Um, you're just going to need to add all these features um, DNS and DHCP. I didn't select. Um, DNS will automatically get selected. Um, DNS won't. Uh, DHCP won't, sorry. Um, so I'm going to restart it when required and then begin the install. Uh, it's going to take 5 or 10 minutes. I've just sped it up for the purpose of this tutorial. So once it's installed, you can click close. Um, and you'll see on the left hand side you've got ADDS. And you'll also notice this here um, I haven't promoted it to a domain controller. So you can click that one. Um, I'm going to choose to add a domain to a con controller to an existing forest. Um, if you've already got a domain or a forest already that you want to add it to, click them. Um, so I'm going to add a new forest, and you need to ensure that you put dot local at the end. Um, you know, so it's a full, fully qualified domain name. So I put my surname dot local. I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. And it's going to think about that just to check that that's okay. And then you need to choose the forest and domain functional level. Um, I'm going to leave my 2012. If you've got other servers on your network, um, you're going to need to lower that. I would put DNS on there, and that's going to install the DNS services. And then you need to type in your uh, DSRM password, which is your directory services restore. It's going to just verify NetBIOS. Okay, now that's completed. We can now change the paths um, on the next stage of our NTDS um, log files, uh, database files, and the sys file. I've only got C drive for the purpose of this demonstration. I'm going to leave them on the same disk. Though you may want to put them on another disk if you need to. You can do that by just selecting the little dot dot button there and choosing where you want to whack them. So hit next. Um, you can just review the changes you're going to make. You can also view a script if you want to use this for PowerShell to do on multiple servers. And then you can hit next. Um, you can see here the pre quit requirements um, aren't all green, uh, but they don't matter for the time being. Um, they've passed enough to let it work. Uh, so I've just fast forwarded this one again. It's going to need to reboot now, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot. Super reboot. And once you've rebooted, um, you're going to have your domain controller. So you're going to have to log in with the same password as your administrative account, but this time it's going to be logging on straight onto the domain, as you can see there. And if you go onto the Start menu, or into Server Manager, you're going to notice you have a new application to administer your domain. Um, it's quite a nice feature. Especially as Seller 2012 seems to be targeting at SMEs, um, you know, easy usability for um, a novice user. So we're in Server Manager now, and you will notice after you've pressed Local Server on the left-hand side here, you'll have ADDS, um, and you'll also have DNS. DHCP still isn't in, in, installed, um, so that'll be my next step is to go and install that one. Okay, so there's nothing more that the flag's telling me to do. Okay, so we're just going to go into the Active Directory Administrative Center. Um, this is where you're going to control your domain from now. Um, great little feature, there's a lot of tutorials on here for SME users who are novice users um, learning what to do. You can easily change passwords here for any users um, and search for any objects in your domain. And you can see you've got your computers and users here. And a new feature directs dynamic access control. Um, but if we come out of that, we're going to need to go and install our DHCP server because we currently don't have it. So back to add roles and features. 
same server. This time I'm going to tick DHCP server, add features. You can pretty much click your way through this, um, so just next, next your way through this one. All the installations seem to be a lot quicker um, than they were in server 2008. And I am running on the same hardware as I did the test then as well. So that one's installed, and you can see the flags popping up, some information it needs from us now as well. The notification area, so you're going to need to complete the configuration. For a basic install, you can just next your way through this. Um, it's then going to ask you to restart the services. Um, so if you just hold your Windows key and press R, or go to Start Run. Um, and then we can type in Services. Um, that's going to restart the services uh, for the target computer so the security groups can be effective and it will allow this um, post install configuration wizard to complete. So services.msc and then you need to find your DHCP server service. So it's under D, DHCP server. Okay, and then go to restart. Um, I did find when I tested this that it didn't actually let this go through. Um, so I do advise to reboot and then your configuration will be complete. Thanks for watching.